This is Neil Schneider for MTBS TV. I'm at the 3D Entertainment Summit. Joining us today is Andrew Fear, Product Manager for NVIDIA's GeForce 3D Vision. Now, uh, welcome to the program, Andrew. Thank you, Neil. Now, a a Andrew, I'm looking at this, this display, and it's not a traditional display as, as I've grown accustomed to. Maybe you could elaborate as to what we're looking at and why it's so special. So this is a, it's a brand new PC from ASUS. It's called the ASUS ET2400, and it's an all-in-one PC, which means that it has all the components built directly into it. The hard drive, the graphics processor, the CPU, the memory, um, even the integrated uh, uh, IR emitter for our 3D vision glasses. So when you buy this product, you get everything together. And what we're showing with it on, on this particular PC is our brand new uh, website we just announced today called 3D Vision Live. And 3D Vision Live is a is a is the world's first streaming site for active shutter glasses. All the high quality content that you can get, we're going to put on this website, be able to stream to all of our existing 3D Vision customers. So what I'm, what I'm gathering, okay, two things. So first off, the hardware, I gather it's a combination of PC and display all in one. So you don't have to get a separate computer box. It's all it comes it comes delivered as is. Uh, does it have the uh, ability to be expanded or adjusted beyond w what we're seeing? Well, you do have some expansion capabilities. Um, I believe this product has an HDMI connector in it as well. So if you want to connect up to a 3D television, uh, you can you can use our 3D TV Play software that's included with all the 3D Vision PCs. And so you can enjoy your content here on the all-in-one PC, or you could connect it to a 3D television and watch it there. Excellent. And you mentioned 3D Live as well, which I, I take it is a, a major milestone for NVIDIA to, to have some content on the internet. Can you elaborate as to what types of 3D content we're going to see online through through your offering? Sure. We, uh, we announced it today as a beta, actually, for all of our customers to go try. And we're definitely soliciting feedback. So if anyone is reading, is watching this video wants to go try it, be our guest, post, post comments on our forums, post it wherever you want, send it to us. We're going to read it, try to make it better. The idea is that for 3D Vision Live, uh, we want to have a portal for all things 3D. So paid for content, if you want to buy content to get good quality, if you want to have trailers which are free, and even eventually user generated content. The ability to upload your own content you may have created with a Fujifilm or Panasonic or Minoru camera. You can put it all online, share it with the world, you know, and then get uh, rich quality content on your own. Do you see this uh, competitive or, or comparable to something like YouTube? Well, it's uh, you know it's it's comparable to YouTube. Um, you know the problem today is that the existing um, flash architecture doesn't support active shutter glasses for 3D. Uh, we did we had a partnership with Microsoft on Silverlight to be able to enable that, and so we can offer it a, a, as a feature. Uh, so you can use this technology on Internet Explorer, on Firefox, or Google Chrome. Uh, we certainly are working with Adobe on their flash technology, and you know, eventually it will be there. It's just not there yet. Okay. Now, remind me, the ASUS all-in-one PC, what, what's the going rate? Is, is it available yet, or when, when, when will it be available? It's a great question. Um, I don't know the MSRP. You put me on the spot for that one. Um, it should be available within the next um, month, a uh, couple months or so. Actually, it should be even available sooner than that. Uh, they announced it at uh, Computex this past June, and I believe it will start shipping um, either towards the end of this month or next month. Excellent. Well, thanks for joining us. We'll, we'll actually be back with more shortly. This is Neil Schneider for MTBS-TV at the 3D Entertainment Summit.